Hi there, and welcome back to Exoprimal, and welcome back to the stream too, of course. Today we'll, we'll go straight in, as usual. So currently I have finished the main story 64%. I've finished 64% of the main story so far. So there is still a lot to do. Today the matchmaking went by pretty fast, but this black screen still takes way too long. Because I think I think that it really is um, everyone's loading screen, as in it takes the uh, the slowest character in the group until the it allows us to get through the Exo loading Fire screen. Attacking the head of a Carnotaurus is effective. It will quickly close in on attacking players, so make sure to maintain a safe distance at all times. Because otherwise it would be by far the slowest game that I have ever installed on an SSD. Which would it make sense? Because it's not an open world game uh, for one. Let us begin. I will transfer you to the combat zone. Prepare for battle. Or two. It has a pre-battle zone that it can use as a loading screen. Nice. I think I really like this class. Um, I like this class and I also like the basic one that uh, you start with. Uh, and... Um, I like all of the uh, healer classes. Actually no, not all of them. I like the one who can fly and I like the one where you switch modes between healing and damage. Ooh, that was a nice hit. And from tanks I like the one who has a shield a lot. I think my favorite classes in the game, my complete favorites, are probably this guy. Not looks wise, but the skill set wise. And uh, the flying healer. Design-wise, design-wise, my two favorites are probably the shield, the, the shield, the tank, and um, the two mode sealer. Like the visual design of the exosuit. 
Why can't I hit him? There we go. Dinosaur call. You are completing objectives faster than the enemy team. Follow the watcher. Proceed to next mission. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Is it the uh, triceratops? So many damage numbers. I honestly think that uh, any game uh, where there uh, where there is health, they should include an option in the options menu to enable visual damage feedback in every game. It doesn't have to be on by default, but I think that it should be an option. If the game doesn't use a visible health system, then of course there is no point, point to in it. Like for example... In games where a good hit can one-shot you. Oh, both died at the same time. Me there! Me there hit! That's so rare. But it's great when it happens. You are completing objectives slower than the enemy team. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Now we are getting a boss. him to the ground. Good one. Dinosaur call. You are completing objectives faster than the enemy team. Follow the watcher. I was about to say if that was if that would have been slower, then I don't even know. Got those fast. Oh, bombs are here. Follow the watcher. Proceed to next mission. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Let's see about that. Summoning raptor. Only hit once. One. Summon the raptors. 
summoning Dilophosaurus. Summon the stealth Neosaurus. A lot of them on this side. The enemy team is disrupting your progress with a stage one dinosaur upgrade. Enemy team this that's new. What are what is the interference? You are completing objectives. Enemy team dinosaur upgrade. What even is that? this thing warning you will now commence the final mission brace yourselves for interdimensional traffic prepare for combat i have never seen interference before securing areas that's interesting upgrades and marginally increase survival rates remember teamwork makes the dream work you will secure the areas in two teams. Wow. Six areas. Oh, it's a it's a new PV mission. So we go in order. Right. This is nice. A T-Rex. I'm back. Escape device provided. Device activation countdown initiated. Remember, teamwork makes the three. Enter the escape device to complete this exercise. Summoning gas near soldiers. Summoning a T-Rex. Summon Raptors. I'm not sure why it keeps crashing. Last time it uh, happened as well. I'm not sure whether it is this it's this game or that OBS doesn't like or it's that Windows update that has given me so many problems lately. Got the T Rex. T Rex, nice. Escape successful. Will everyone get out in time? until you are summoned for the next combat test. Okay. Explosions, shrapnel, music to my ears. Behold, the best exo fighters in this war game.
survival pass level 4, player level 35, and almost 36. Parash level 13. Scorched Earth. Collect a specific amount of flash fire metals. Okay. Another one. Exil exfiltrate from an escape mission with the full team. And two pieces of uh, main story. Oh, and I also almost got the cutscene. Nice. One moment. If Durban shows his feet. All right, let's go. The best screwdriver, Ace. Ace, good evening. Please speak softly. Alders is currently resting. You may be pleased to know I have recovered the first best screwdriver. Alders insisted it be recovered. I found it located 320 meters west in a canopy of Passiflora edulis. Alders does not believe in replacing the first best screwdriver with the next. Chief Lorenzo believes objects such as the first best screwdriver hold one back in a changing world. But perhaps this is not the case when the object can change with the world. Ace? Sleep well, Ace. Interesting. What was it doing that far away? Someone tried to throw it away. Fossils of Pekitoa. Ah, tourist brochure. Very useful for escaping insane computer. Anything can provide a clue. A good investigator uses all his resources. How many affordable three-star hotels have you found? Well, you'll eat those words when this ends up saving our lives. When you finish reading advertisement for already dead dinosaurs, maybe you can find some time to help with the live ones. Majesty, I have to say, your near-death experience has not improved your people skills. Less love talk, more war games. Fossils of Pekitoa. Pekitoa is renowned among South Pacific Islands as a treasure trove of remarkably complete and intact dinosaur fossils. Originally the tip of a string of volcanic islands stretching from the prehistoric Pange Pangea uh, continent into the contemporary Pantalassic Ocean. Pekitoa was most likely host to a mass migration of dinosaurs from the mainland during the Cretaceous per era, before the connecting island chain was demolished by seismic activity. Pekitoa's sedimentary layers reveal a history of volcanic eruptions that have covered and preserved the island as a time capsule of uh, paleontology, paleontology, paleontological specimens. Keep your eyes open on the Pikitoa hiking trails, you can never tell where the next dinosaur will be found. That is cool. B10. What is the origin suit? Another major uh, category. Done. A minor anomaly in photographs of Bikitoa Island. A minor anomaly? Uh, let's not get carried away. Okay, Sandy? This structure appears in the background of multiple images. Looks normal enough to me. Affirmative. However, the angle and distance indicate that these images were taken from the same location. Wait, wait, hold up. This is where they were digging up fossils. It says right there. Crustaceous period fossil layer. Are you sure the location's the same? Affirmative. That's not all. Remember that image of a damaged suit? We thought Anchor Division was burying it. 
This crack in the chest is an exact match. Same suit. Origin suit. I think it must be origin colon suit. Like the origin of this image is a suit. Don't be foolish. Look here. Origin suit. Anchor division reference exhibit Alpha 1175. They were researching this origin suit. We, we saw it at the fossil dig site. Hail and Powderhouse. They want dope in a wreck suit. They were digging one up. You're saying IBS found a suit in the ground that had been buried for millions of years? Sandy. Can you identify this building in the background? City planning records indicate the building was owned by Tuvao Power. IBS records indicate the building was demolished in 2023 in preparation for the construction of the Stratovator. Before the exosuit program even started. Those dirty background. They didn't invent the exosuits. They found one. All Anchor did was reverse engineer it. Look at the back of it. Tell me that's not a Vortexer. They dug up suit equipped with Vortexer? How the hell did an exosuit end up in the Mesozoic era? Before Vortexers were invented? <sighs> because of stupid time travel. There is no before. No wonder science is obsessed with this tech. He tried to trick us into hacking into his own research when he couldn't. Hizo. The Vortexers, the Exofighters, these Gordon Goose, IBS's great evolutionary leap came from the past. And the company's entire future rests on keeping a secret. And I gave that man a decent burial. I'm of a mind to go out there and dig him right back up. Let's do one better. Let's give him a call. Okay, that was interesting, that I did not see coming. Why was an exosuit buried there, P13? That'll be the next one to discover. Interesting. Still the lowest effort um, gacha screen that I have ever seen. Alright, next. And hopefully it doesn't crash in this time. Right, this um, matchmaking is taking longer than the previous one did. Can I level 5 this? Maxed. Good. Welcome to a special wargame instance. This top tier combat test will generate the highest grade of combat data. Remember to hang together, or you may hang separately. Okay, it's another story mode. Because there is no enemy team shown.
value test what is that? You are precious resources. I have high hopes for your data contributions to this combat test. You will now engage in a dinosaur combat test. Oh. Exo fighters, follow the watcher. Already going the wrong way. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. I thought that this would be a story mission, but I guess not. Dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Please wait. Summoning an Ankylosaurus. Summoning Cyber Neosaurus. Can I hit him? Summoning Tyrant. I did. Summoning Sino Lithosaurus. What was I hitting there? So it is a um, story mission. Hello. Are we fighting you this time? He's able to control the Leviathan. Eliminate all specified targets within the time limit. You will once again be operating with a respawn. Summoning Dynonicuses. Summoning Sniper Neosaurs. Summoning Gas Neosaurs. Come wow. 
is a lot. But we seem to be handling it all right. Topography alteration for culmination. Executing next phase. Summon the sniper field source. Summoning pachycephalosaurus. Summoning gas field source. <laughs> Got one. Got a lot of them. Everyone went up there and I'm dead. What was that? Oh, a sniper. But the snipers are up there. Put him on his back. So we were able to defeat him quickly. Now we need the other ones to spawn. There they are. I have never seen this enemy before. And we need to kill two of these. Oh, the second one is over there. Get him. Oh.
Yeah, I did it. Surprise algorithm triggered. Extraordinary. Projections failed to predict that your performance would surpass previous measurements in the face of such unfavorable odds. Updating psychology competitive. This data has taught me a great deal about human potential. The war game will now enter the next level. So I guess uh, now my uh, games will be even harder. I'm guessing. Behold, the best exo fighters in this war game. Triple threat kills, small 76. Level 36. And survival pass level 5. Level 37. Rig, Drillfest and Parash Exosuit level 14, B Flare Dodge and also uh, the next main story cutscene. You should have told us everything, Science. Origin suit, the vortex generator tick. Those are corporate secrets, my friend. <laughs> okay, Doc. You keep on living life the IBS way. The Golden Goose data stays with us. Golden Goose? Oh, hey, no, 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 wait, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Wait for what, Dr. Okay, wait, Science? Okay, no, stop. It's high zone. When the island was destroyed, we lost the technology for the production of high zone. Golden Goose is the kind of thing that changes the world, baby. Which is why I hope you'll forgive me for this. Also, the turban guy works for him. Place the backup. Thank you for choosing your IB BOS Tactical Assistance AI. Sandy. She's gone. Increases base explosive damage by 100%, increases blast radius and chance of burning dinosaurs. That sounds fun.
AO5, Dr. Signs. Does this, um, this Santi also talk differently? This detail is here uh, when uh, she broke her arm. So there is some uh, attention to detail at least, which is cool. Research facility. Remember, raptors move in packs. Keep them at bay with area attacks and be careful not to get surrounded. Yeah, I do try that. Transfer complete. The war game will begin shortly. Have a super day. You will now engage in a dinosaur combat test. Exo fighters, follow the watcher. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Please go. Summoning Sukumimuses. More brand new dinosaurs. I hit the few because they came from a different place than I than I thought they would. Jumped out of there. Thank you for not moving. Area defense progress, twenty-five 
represent. Some of them dilophosaurus. I'm gonna get you. Running as quickly as I can. Enemies seem to be right on our tail. Preparing combat area. You must defend the specified area. Go to the area near the marker and begin defending it. Set him on fire. That's good. Slightly too slow. Area defense complete. Warning. You will now commence the final mission. Brace yourselves for interdimensional travel. Prepare for combat. The first team to complete all of the assigned objectives wins. Do your part and generate robust combat data. I'll try. done that. I just need to hit the uh, two of the big guys. These ones. Did it. Summoning 
Raptors. Summoning an Ankylosaurus. Summoning Cynomythosauruses. And at least pick it up. That I missed on the final mission. Quickly. I hope the last one has a boss so that I can uh, go in with the Dominator. Let's see if I can do anything at all. I got a kill. And I got another kill. I got two kills, which was pretty nice. The enemy team fulfilled its objectives first. The clock is ticking. Do not lose track of time. Summoning the party several assaults. But why hasn't my team? I guess maybe uh, the enemy was able to also keep uh, my team distracted. Level These are the most pointless rewards you can ever have, ever. Uh, 
Right, send this memory cover. <laughs> yes! I knew it! I knew I had it somewhere! Ace! Ace, look! Look, this... This is what Sandy's memory core looks like. Okay, okay, this is what you need to find. Alders. We all miss Sandy. But she's gone, Alders. I am sorry. She's gone. No! 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 It's, I mean, not necessarily. Her user interface, her... her... her, her personality! is designed to be merged with other units. Look, remember how we're supposed to merge Sandy with the HQ network after every mission? Sure, but we never do because it's stupid rule and we keep Sandy our own way. Yes, exactly! Now, that's what's got me thinking. If we can find old Sandy's memory core and bring it back, we might be able to integrate her memory with this new Sandy. Hello. Alders. Alders! There are thousands of exofighters out there. Think about it. How will we find science and that piece of shit Durban now that they have what they want? No! That's just it, Madge. They don't have what they want. The Golden Goose data on Sandy's core was incomplete. She only had two of the data packets backed up to her core. Signs doesn't have the whole thing. And he doesn't know it yet. They'll be searching, which means we are still one step ahead. We need Sandy's core back. Which means we're probably going to have to fight Durban to the death. The eyes drip terror, but the hands are still at it. Wait, what, what, what did she say? What does that mean? Th that sounded scary. It means we need plan. A data storage solution for a new age of digital assistance. Okay. Exosuit in the ruins. Ah, the old ancient exosuit trick. Three more and we earned three foot long submarine sandwich. Ugh, this one gives me creeps. Do you know how hard it is to give me the creeps? So how long was the ground able to contain this particular curse? Do we know? 680 years. And how do we come to that number? That black box uses a radioactive isotope cell to power the suit's locator circuit. Isotope Niobium-91 has a half-life of 680 years. Any longer than that, and the power cell would have died. Chief, I'm beginning to think maybe you're reading too many spec sheets? Hmm. Much younger than Origin Suit. Have you seen Black Box data? Sandy managed to hack it when Ace got near this chamber during the war game. Right, Sandy? Affirmative. The data was heavily corrupted. More time is required for a complete reconstruction and analysis. We are about to hear the last words of an exofighter. Words that have been lost to time for centuries. Orders, this might be the coolest day of your life. What I can't explain is why those greedy bastards never found it. Especially considering the suit's black box has a standard locator beacon. It literally sat there for centuries, signaling its location on the rescue frequency. Anyone up there with a locator could have found it in a matter of seconds. The Orion suit was so old, the beacon was long dead. I guess they didn't think to look. Tragic lack of imagination. Oh. Okay. 69% done. Nice. Welcome to the war game. I am the Advanced Artificial Intelligence Leviathan. I require all exofighters to participate in the combat tests. This is a two-team competitive scenario. Those on the other side are the enemy team. The first team to complete all of the assigned objectives wins. The winning team will be eligible for bonus existence. 
Data indicates that human beings improve their performance through competition. Compete to win, and compete to live. Compete to achieve research excellence. Guess we'll try. Let us begin. I will transfer you to the combat zone. Have a super day. Interdimensional transfer complete. The war game will begin shortly. Have a super day. You will now engage in a dinosaur combat test. Exofighters, follow the watcher. Initiating dinosaur college. Preparing combat. Summon raptors. Why did I even shoot those? Dinosaur call complete. You are completing objectives slower than the enemy team. Proceed to next mission. Initiating dinosaur call machine. Preparing combat. Please wait. Summoning Tyrannicons. Summoning Raptors. Nice work! This won't be pleasant. Burn! Objectives slower than the enemy team. Follow the Watcher. Proceed to next mission. Initiating Dinosaur Call Mission. Preparing combat area. Please wait. Summon Raptor. Summoning Pachycephalosaurus. You seem to be a fat bit slower. Summoning Raptors. That was the most numbers I have ever seen, I think. Wow. Dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat. Each way. Summoning raptors. This won't be correct. Summoning raptors. Thanks, bud. Dinosaur call. You are 
achieving objectives slower than the enemy team. Follow the watcher. Proceed to next mission. The enemy team is a lot faster than we are. And there are more flyers in this one. Summoning to Raptors. Summon Raptors. Flyers. Dinosaur complete. You are completing objectives slower than the enemy team. Follow the watcher. Proceed to next mission. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Which enemy will, will be here? Or oh, boss? Set him on fire. Dinosaur You are completing objectives faster than the enemy team. Warning. You will now commence the final mission. Brace yourselves for interdimensional travel. So how far is that? Oh, I think it fell right before we teleported. And it's a PvP mission. Oh, it didn't fall. It killed two of them. Interesting. So we reached 10% before the enemy uh, came in. They are really strong. I guess there are less of them now. So they they made them stronger, but uh, gave us less of them. Summoning raptors. 
summoning Pteranodons. Escort progress, 60%. What was that? So many of them just flew. Wow. Please. Oh no. Enemy controlled dinosaur income. Prioritize its destruction. There you are. Insta kill. They are only at third forty per cent. That was a lot of raptors right there. Alright, I even got 100k points. Oh, I'm the MVP. Nice. 104,000 points. Survival pass level 6. And player level 39. Barrage achieved the designated score as Barrage during a single match. And two new story pieces. What is this new one? Increases base damage by 7% for Skip Bomber when landing a direct hit. Ammo and blast radius. Or base damage. I think I prefer the indirect damage as well. So it's uh, fine as is. 100,000 points. So 200,000 is what I will need to reach eventually. 
through Leviathan's eyes. Was it you? Come on, Ace. Don't look at me like that. Was it you? You shot the Watchers down, didn't you? Well, well, whoever it was. I'd like to give them a medal. It damaged their network security. I was able to get past the system's protections and intercept this. It's drone data. The Watchers are constantly transmitting it back to Leviathan. They're basically his eyes and ears. It's been watching the Exo fighters, but it looks like it's also been recording data from the dinosaurs, too. Correct. There are numerous variables being reported in the data transmissions. Reflex response, fight or flight reactions in each subject, violence index. So the question is, why is Leviathan suddenly studying dinosaurs? No idea. Headhunters. Ace, listen to this. I had Sandy search for any mention of the headhunters in the radio transmissions we intercepted during the war games. So dumb. Good lord. Hmm. Reminds me of bedtime song Grandmother would sing when we could not sleep. But you know the one? The viper and the suckling pig? <clears throat> ah. Ace. Maybe do us all a favor. If you see a headhunter, head quietly in the opposite direction, yeah? Sure. 70%. 71%. Oh, I managed to. Uh, unlock uh, another uh, B. B11. Why does Leviathan need combat data? So, uh, I've got a theory about these headhunters. Sandy? The spinal column of the exosuit mimics that of the human body. It sends autonomic nerve signals to the suit's limbs in survival situations. The suit can process reactions to pain and adrenaline spikes that happen too fast for a pilot to react. It's reflexive. Like jerking your hand away from a fire before you consciously made the decision to move it. It's incredible, really. The exosuits are capable of anticipating attacks. Their unique sensor packages are constantly processing all kinds of battlefield microdata from moment to moment. Alders, we are two pilots and engineer. We know this. Well, then you know the human pilot is the bottleneck. The suit itself is faster than we are. Faster than you, maybe. Well, we all have our little imperfections. The spinal unit was designed to offset those human shortcomings. And we all know the Bython uses the data from war games to continually perfect the suits. Do you see? The exosuits those pilots were wearing are constantly upgrading themselves to be ready for any combat situation, whether the pilot inside is ready or not. All these exo fighters sent to die to improve a system that was created to keep them alive. This is major big time psychopath. Or the AI equivalent. It's contrary to the directive. The only way artificial intelligence can go wrong like that is if the input data is biased or wrong. It would only be possible if you mess with data already coded in an AI's root architecture. It's black box, so to speak. Now, what does that have to do with headhunters, you ask? I did not, but I would have. Continue. If you give an AI like Leviathan the directive, improve our exosuits, it has to complete it. It doesn't matter whether that takes a hundred tries or a million, all that matters is using whatever data the exosuits send to increase the suit's survival capabilities. See, look at these early exosuits in combat. They're acting like humans, protecting each other, trying to stay alive. But if something happened in Leviathan's black box, 
Say, someone at IBS decided human empathy was slowing down efficiency. And say, added new black box data to Leviathan. It would alter exosuits updates. But what kind of data turns exofighters to headhunters? What has primal killer instincts, lacks the brain development for a complex emotion like empathy, and already contributes to the stream of data that Leviathan is tracking? That maniac machine is using dinosaurs to program exosuits? That's my theory. But listen to this. See, the suit accepts the update from Leviathan, then starts fighting like an animal. I think the headhunters are Leviathan's prototypes for the next evolution of the exosuit. But pilots can override suit's combat choices. If you are right, what is keeping pilots from overriding the suit? They're already dead. Think about it. Any time an exofighter dies with their suit intact, Leviathan can slot the new combat instinct data package into the suit's spinal column. And voila, instant headhunter. Zombies. You're talking about zombie exofighters. Zombie dinosaur exofighters, not to put too fine a point on it. <sighs> Grave robbers. All for the perfect suit. More than that, if Leviathan's doing this to the software, what's it doing to the hardware? What are you making, Grave Robber? Oh. We're back to zombies. Even in this game. 72% done. Nice. I think I will BRP for a moment, or about uh, roughly 10 minutes, I'll be back then, so yeah, I'll see you.